And you jack frags upload here. Wait, hold up. What is that title? You know what? No, let's be reasonable. Let's hear him out. Let's see what he has to say here. At least the base game is in a pretty decent state now. This is an irresponsible take. This is an irresponsible video from Jack Frags. The maps are still the same maps. They only added one. K30 everywhere. Netcode is terrible. M maps are unplayable. Flat everywhere. Balance is horrific. Vehicle versus infantry balance, horrific. Vehicle versus vehicle balance, horrific. Bugs everywhere. You still can't even jump out of a vehicle with a scar and aim down sights. The mouse is broken. The controller aim assist still isn't fixed. Make sure that that opinion is, in fact, destroyed. Wait. Hold up. I think I might actually have that opinion. But anyways, before we get into that, a message from today's sponsor. Have you guys ever hit a sick clip in game? Yeah, me neither. Anyways, if that's you, you might want to check out Outplayed by Overwolf. Using their software, you can automatically record kills, headshots, and other key moments in game. Once you've got your clips, you can also directly share them on Discord, YouTube, or pretty much anywhere else. There's also an inbuilt editor for trimming your footage, and the app is supported in over 300 games. If any of that interests you, definitely head down to the link in the description and give them a go. So is Battlefield 2042 getting better? And is the base game in a pretty decent state now? Definitely two very separate questions, and as you saw in the intro, there's some varying takes on the subject. Before we get into this one though, I have nothing against Jack Frags, and I've known Enders for quite a long time now. Jack does content and tries to stay very positive, and this will pretty much always tell you exactly how it is, with the perspective of an experienced player. So saying that, my opinions really should align well with Enders. I'd say I'm a pretty experienced player and I'm decently skilled on Battlefield, perhaps not on his level, but surely good enough to have the right opinions. Despite all this, I can't even lie, at least the title of that Jack Frags video is something that I think I agree with. Battlefield 2042 is getting better, at least I think so. See, when looking to see if the game is getting better, I like to compare the point we're at right now with pretty much any other point in the game's lifespan. Is it better than release? Well, without a doubt. I mean, that one should be really easy to say. But is the state of the game right now better than before Season 1 dropped? Well, in short, what's actually happened since it got released? We've got a new map, Exposure, which is really, really good, and it's one of the best maps yet. We've got a new specialist, Liz, who is probably a bit overpowered, but it provides a fun and skillful way to deal with air vehicles. And then there's also the BSVM, which is probably the strongest gun in the game, and it does make infantry gameplay worse. Thing is, for me, all these changes allow me to enjoy the game in a more casual sense, Perhaps back in the day I played Battlefield with a bit more of a serious attitude and I actually had tried to improve all the time and I was really trying to play well. This game just isn't the kind of game to do that in though. This is a casual game and I've kind of stopped caring about balance. I mean, before Season 1, there were still game-breakingly strong weapons, specialists and vehicles. For example, the K30 and SCAR were still extremely strong weapons, the Heinz, Nightburn and Wildcat were strong vehicles and Rao was a very effective ground-to-air counter. When throwing the BSV, Stealth Heli, and Liz into the mix, I really don't see any huge problems. I mean, with some nerfs, which are already confirmed to be coming soon, these additions should be fine, and even right now, I'd much rather have a skillful and fun counter to air like Liz, rather than having a boring brain-dead one such as Rao. You can say the same thing about the Stealth Helicopter. I mean, I'd rather have the Stealth Helicopter, which has tow missiles and has a fun-to-use cannon, rather than having something really, really boring to use like the Hind, but is still overpowered. I mean, the Hind is still the best aircraft in the game, there's no doubt about that, but I'd rather have something that can kind of contest the Hind, and I don't have to use it. Because before this came out, you could fly pretty much anything you want, but it's going to get absolutely dominated by the Hind. At least now the Stealth Helicopter has a little bit of a chance. Now, the one I can't really make any argument for is the BSV. I mean, the BSV just sucks to die to. It pretty much instantly kills you with no real chance to react. Although in saying that, I still do outfrag people using the BSV very, very often using things like the SCAR and the K30, which in my opinion are kind of more well-rounded weapons. See, these additions would be really, really bad and unhealthy for the game if they were going into a game that was really perfectly balanced. But that just isn't Battlefield 2042. The game's balance is all over the place, and within a sea of overpowered weapons, vehicles, gadgets, all that kind of stuff, it really isn't that noticeable. 
But that's where the take from Enders comes in. He understands the core issues with the game, the things that prevent this game from being fundamentally well designed, and he's not wrong at all. I mean, they barely fixed any of the fundamental design issues since launch, and a lot of them just cannot be fixed within this title. For me, I find that stuff to be kind of pointless to think about because it just can't happen. So the next best thing for me is just for DICE to give us content for just some short-term fun, whatever, release a broken thing, have fun with it, nerf it, and go next. I mean, this game is never going to be really that well designed. I would just rather have fun with it and just run the clock down until the next title. And I just hope they don't mess it up as bad that time because the balance in this game is seriously so all over the place that it it's, everything's overpowered, but it almost works because of that. It's really, really hard to explain, but... There's just so many overpowered options for each category that everyone kind of just picks one and it almost works, but everything is just bullshitting you. I've never seen a game like this one in that way. I really haven't. So anyway, we've had a look at the Jack Frags title saying the game is getting better. And we've also had a look at the Enders take, which is much more fundamental looking at what were the issues with the game when it came out? Have those issues been fixed? Of course, the answer is no. So the game is not getting better. I mean, in a very logical sense, that is the correct way to look at it. But for me, at least, the way I see it is, am I having more fun now than before? And for me, the answer is yes, so that's my opinion. Anyways, this next one, though, this is absolute blasphemy. But at least the base game is in a pretty decent state now. So I think Jack Frags must be playing a different game to everyone else. Saying that it's improved is one thing, I think they turned a bad game into an enjoyable 60% of the time bad game. I mean, that's an improvement. But saying that it's in a decent state now is in a, it's a whole different realm. I mean, Valorant is in a decent state now. Perhaps COD is in a decent state, I don't know. But an FPS game with bad mouse and controller input, poor performance, poor map design, and a balanced situation so ridiculous that it's almost fun is not in a decent state. I mean, I could list issues all day, but those are some of the main ones for me. And the fact that he says the base game too, that's wild. I mean, Portal can actually be fun and some of those BF3 custom servers are in almost decent state, but the base game, that's pretty much the most broken aspect. That's where you got the BSV. That's where you got the stealth helicopter. That's where you got pretty much all the issues, specialists, you name it, the terrible maps that came with the game. I mean, that just cannot be argued. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just thought this was an interesting topic with a few different perspectives, really. If I'm putting a score on it, I'd say the Enders wins this one with 2-1, so good job, mate. With that all said, hope you guys enjoyed again, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.